Hi guys, I'm Griper here and this is my Raid Shadow Legends Diary. So I'm recording now because I feel like I'm getting ready to do something like very impulsive and very probably stupid. Um, but I've gotten, I've kind of run out of patience. Like I, I've said before in other videos that I am trying to basically just cut down on the number of champions that I'm working on and not keep going for shard after shard after shard after shard, after shard because I'll end up with a lot of champions like um, Avir the Alk Mage or Coffin Smasher or Pig Sticker that I work on, I think they're great and then they don't end up being great. And I just sit on them for some reason. A lot of it is because maybe you're waiting for a rebalancing or something, but I think that holding on to these champions is kind of like holding me back. And so I'm about to feed a lot of them with the goal of uh, actually taking Ultimate Gaelic Six Star. This is towards Spider's Den, of course, the thing I've been complaining about for I don't know how long now. That, but then also, um, I'm going to draw more shards. <laughs> But I mean, I'm looking at Azure and another Azure that I've pulled and I just don't care about them, you know? So anyway, without further ado, let me see. There's a four, There was a 40 that I was going to sacrifice anyway. These are all fives. Where's that other 40 that I was going to just dump stuff into and sacrifice? Um, like for, I don't use him. So then I'll rank up using this guy who I just did. Crimson Helm, who I already have, I know maybe I should use that as a book, but eh. then I'm going to go ahead and put Azure and Azure because that is the champion before that I thought that was the one that was good and that wasn't. I confused him with Warcaster. He is not good. So I'm going to go ahead and put those to Azure and then I will do this. So they're all gone. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like it's so bad, the thing that I'm doing, but... At the end of the day, it is just a game. Who cares, right? Like, if this is what's going to make me have fun, then I should be having fun, right? Like, listen to me trying to justify my actions right now. But if this is what, if this is fun to me, then it's fun. So now I'm going to sacrifice Pig Sticker, who I think uh, still has gear on. I might not have enough money, enough silver to, like, just get rid of the gear on these champions, so I can sacrifice them. Avir the Alchemage has... has 250 so i need to sell some stuff real quick and then come back let me do this really quickly maybe i'll cut this part out in fact i'll come back in a second i'll cut okay so i'm back i've sold some gear and so now i'm about to sacrifice my I, this was runic warden i don't even know who that is pig sticker coffin smasher it took me half a million silver just to remove the gear on coffin smasher i was using it for frost spider before but i was using it for its hp burn and guess what ultimate gaelic hp burn i didn't use him really anywhere else and avir the alk mage which i mean it feels like i draw a thousand of them all the time anyway so i don't use them i don't use them and i feel so guilty in doing this and using those other champions but i don't use them so i'm gonna switch it for a champion that i really want to use and that i've been really waiting on so yeah can't believe I just did that, but it was necessary in my view. And what did I lose? What was the worst thing that's going to happen to me now? I've sacrificed those champions, but big deal. So now it still feels like I did something ridiculous, though. It really does. It's like stuck in my head right now. Like somehow, like I'm going to regret this, but I will be honest. There's been other like epic champions and stuff like that that I've sacrificed and I don't even remember them. I don't remember the ones that I did. I didn't use them and I progressed just fine. I put them in the champions that I wanted to put them in. It's just, I hate moments of impatience like this where you're, you're trying to get through the game and yeah, you end up having to just sacrifice things you didn't want to sacrifice. But again, if I wasn't using them, how much am I really sacrificing here? So, and then the other funny part is after I'm done with this, I have some ancient shards and one sacred shard and i don't know i was gonna open them now i'm wondering if i should not so sure 
all these brews i should probably change save this for a champion training event but book honestly i'm not really pursuing the fusion not because i don't think that the champion would be good it's just i think it's i don't have the resources for it so and as you look at what i'm doing now you probably understand why i don't have the resources for it so i'm gonna go ahead and drop him in campaign a little bit see what happens and then come back with him take him to spider's den and hope to mutilate so here he is i had to spend like i don't know how many how like maybe a million two million silver just to help get him ascended um just uh, on gear i ran him in campaign just to get him up to level 60. i've done a couple of the masteries but i haven't like actually put them in i've just run dungeons in a little bit but i've gotten impatient and so i'm gonna just try spider's den and see what happens like well i should not be this nervous about it um and the further away i get from the champions that i use the ones that i just wasn't using the champions i used to um six star him and the ones that i'm not using anymore the further i get away from it the better i feel because uh they're just sitting around so they might as well be useful right i have plenty of opportunities to rebuild those characters they were all rare except for azur and i'm not really i'm not gonna lose any sleep over him so yeah it was necessary and clear it up my vault a little bit so now here we go here we go here we go so what i'm going to need to do and maybe the coal hearts just need to be excluded but i'm definitely gonna have to put in mr ultimate gaelic i'm gonna put in my doom priest so that she makes sure to get him that increased attack immediately and now i'm actually thinking about putting an apothecary to speed the team up i know with uh the turn meter from a chalk that they're going to be sped up once the spiderlings are frozen but you know what can't hurt to go ahead and do it right so let us see what happens here i think the only issue i may have is i'm worried about crowd control but technically what's supposed to happen is that ultimate gaelic's hp burn and all of that jazz is supposed to be the it's supposed to be the help with crowd control so now here we go they're frozen now we have the HP burn on a few of them. Let's see how much damage we're doing to the spider now. I mean, it's looking good so far. She's about to... Mm. Okay, so it's looking good so far. So far, so good. He's still being the one attacked, which is kind of surprising to me. But uh, I guess he has the lowest HP pool, right? But thankfully, Apothecary is there. Hopefully, Apothecary will be able to. Oh, and she healed again. So they were out. They were still able to outpace the damage, which makes me wonder: Do I need to put like a Cold Heart in place of Apothecary? Reduce that turn meter, give a solid hit, and then you know keep it moving. Or should I put Royal Guard in place of Raglan? And instead of worrying about the defense, worry about the offense. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is put in Royal Guard in place of Raglan. Let Raglan take the place of Apothecary. Although Apothecary speed is really nice to have. Mm. I don't know what I should do with that situation. I really don't know what I should do with that situation. Mm, he's going to strike with his A2 now. He's not staying up. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go back. I'm not quite discouraged yet. And now that I kind of went on that kick and got ultimate Gaelic up, I was thinking about if there's anyone else I should sacrifice to get C or 6 star. Um, okay. So let's put Royal Guard in. But before I go that far, let me just check this. Uh, which I never, I wish they would give you a way to mark your duplicates. Cause I don't know which cold heart is which every time I pick, it feels like it's the opposite one. So let's go with you this time. Uh, I have literally no support. Nobody's healing anybody. So all right, why not? Who cares? I'm in a good mood. Taking Ultimate Gala 6 to actually put me in a pretty good mood. I don't know why. But unloading the burden of those useless champions, I guess, is the reason why. 
All right, so that was part of the reason why we had Apothecary in was to speed up Ultimate Gaelic. And so if he falls immediately, then this whole thing is lost. So leave battle. So then, oh, and that was the wrong cold heart anyway. So good to know ahead of time. Edit team. Hmm. Let's put Apothecary in just to see. I'm going to run a couple different ones. Looking at Miscreated Monster as well now, just realized that I could use him. But let's see. Apothecary in to speed everything up. We got our increased attack coming from Doom Priest. Apothecary give us a speed boost. Control those spiderlings. Burn those spiderlings. Burn the mama spider. Now here's a question I have because uh, Royal Guard has the aura of what? 35% increased attack in dungeons. My question is then, does that increase the, the attack of the um, HP burns? Like, is, is that affected by this as well? Yeah, she heals, but let's see. I'm still, I still have not lost hope. Let's heal somebody. So yeah, I'm curious about that. I am curious about that now that I just thought about it. But again, it feels like... Or, 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 that was the other thing that I learned. If I tap the spider first, so what I'm gonna do here, seeing as how he fell, I'm gonna take it off auto, I'm gonna go back, leave battle. The attack didn't seem to, the attack aura didn't really seem to make much of a difference there, so I'll put Raglan back in. Ultimate Gaelic, like I just had the idea and now I forgot it. Oh, and then I could put in a Bess. Now a Bess's role would be actually more to put down the uh, decreased defense with her mass impalement, but then I'm hoping that she doesn't hit them so hard that all the spiderlings die because the, the balance here is trying to make sure that when this increased attack is probably going to guarantee that she kills him. You're tr I'm trying to make sure that uh, the spiderlings stay alive at least a little bit. Like that is part of the, the plan. And the freeze will help them take less damage, which is great. He has an increased attack, so let's do HP burn now. So now let's see how this goes. I'm just going to run an auto from this point on. Everything seems to be set up nicely. Got our strength, our block debuffs. So, okay. So some of the spiderlings have fallen. So she healed herself, but not as much as she did previously. And now I'm actually wondering if it would be better to use the HP burn after the fact, like let her get her first time of healing and then have that A3 land and let it happen after the fact, instead of just going with it immediately. I might do that next. Look, I'm already like making the assumption that I'm not gonna make it. That's very optimistic, right? <laughs> so we're gonna pick Ultimate Gaelic back up here in a second. There we go. But he still does not have an increased attack on him, but I guess his A3 isn't ready yet either. So yeah, he's gonna fall again, but he'll get picked up again. So now, and this is the ability that I'm thinking of that attacks all enemies have a 70% chance of decreasing the turn meter by 30% if targets turn meter is fully depleted, places one buff. Heals by 3% of her max HP for each spiderling consumed and permanently increases her attack by 10% for each spiderling consumed. Heals from lifesteal artifacts will only heal champions by 35% of the stated amount. Uh, um, so, two spiderlings at the start of each enemy turn. 
four spiderlings at the end of that's her name, Skavog's turn. So she consumes all remaining spiderlings at the start of each turn. If she consumes them, she will not consume them on the floor. So she, there's only like a one turn cooldown really on this whole thing. Oh boy. Okay, that's good to know. All right, one last run at it, then I'll call this a video. But it does give me some hope. I don't know. Maybe that's a weird thing of me. That does give me some hope. Uh, edit. So let's see. We're trying to make this work. Instead of Doom Priest, because I could just run the A2 from a Chalk for, or from a Ultimate Gaelic first to get his to get his um, attack recently used. She was the one, so you're the right one. Then I could reduce the turn meter with cold hearts. Okay, let's see how this goes. I don't know, I feel like I'm getting close. Maybe I'm just hoping because I just wasted, or well not wasted, but I just spent all those resources on Ultimate Gaelic. Like not even the champions I'm thinking about, now I'm thinking about all the silver that went into it. Like, ugh, it's a lot of silver. Which we all know is hard to come by in this game, so. All right. Oh, and they attack the cold heart first. Hmm, maybe I should just Paragon and cheese my way through this. Let them attack Paragon and then... Oh, and I messed up. Immediately messed up. That was my fault. Leave battle. That was my fault. But now that I think about it, should I Paragon cheese this? Edit team. Should I Paragon cheese this? Let him take all the fall, take all the hits while everyone else gets burned. You know, uh, all right, so yeah, I'll end it on a fun way and then I'll get back to the seriousness in a second. If I actually beat it like this, I'm gonna be, I won't be encouraged, I'll probably be furious. <laughs> Not furious, but it'll be like, oh, come on, after all this, this is, this is the thing that succeeds. But anyway, so let's take this off of auto quickly. Now it's Paragon's turn. Put that unkillable on him. Yes, the Spiderlings attack him. That is wonderful. Now, what we will do is Mass Impalement. Freeze, that'll increase our speed. We will reduce that turn meter and a lot of that health attack with the a2 now when the spiderlings go that'll give us our turn meter back hopefully before the before skavog that's her name um i'm just gonna hit him like that hit her like that give everybody block debuffs and strengthen one more time like this and now I am looking for ultimate Gaelic to lay down these HP burns. Awesome. So now we'll heal and we'll get turn meter. I wish there was some way to reduce her turn. Oh, reduce the turn meter by a little bit because I want her to be behind the pace of her spiderling. So that way they actually hurt her. Um, but since she's about to die anyway, or about to get her turn so she only consumed one good look good good look now let's that looking good so far just realizing like legitimately the only healer i have right now is a chalk and his twisted hunger ability which may not be the best thing to turn to also, since her turn meter is down, that means that this turn she will not consume her spiderlings, but the next turn she will. I need to keep that in mind because I don't want to reduce the turn meter here. But luckily, I believe Cold Heart will have her Heart Seeker given on the next time. Yeah, so not this time, but the next time. And then by the time Ultimate Gaelic's ability comes back, Hopefully it'll be a whole new set of spiderlings. Hopefully a chalk will have his uh, AOE attack ready. 
So she went, oh, uh, there goes the cold heart. I can't revive cold heart. There's a problem with this lineup. And there goes a best. Ooh, ooh, that put us in a bad way. All right, well, looks like I'm gonna be unsuccessful in this video as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this battle. And then I'll be working on this for the rest of the day, a little bit into tomorrow. But I don't know why, for some reason, I feel better about it now than I did before, which seems counterintuitive, but I do. I feel like now that he's a six star, that I'll have some of the pieces necessary. She's about to heal all the way back up with all these spiderlings, aren't, isn't she? Yep. All right, guys, so that'll be the end of this video, but I'm happy. I am happy that I got rid of all those champions that I wasn't using, and now I will have a chance, a chance at uh, completing Spider's Den. I think now, it's, like I said before, but Ultimate Gaelic is part of that key. I just got to find the right combination. I think I'm going to have Raglan in, um, Cold Heart, and the best is nice with that decreased defense, but... Is it necessary? I'm not that sure. So, in any case, and actually, you know what? I kind of want to know what the uh, end damage is, but he has this unkillable on him that Paragon gave him. So, come on, chop, chop. In any case, I'll, I'll well, let's see, should I cut here? Because I don't know how long this is going to last. She's about to consume them again, isn't she? Yup. Man, that's a terrible mechanic. <laughs> oh boy, help. Help, help, help. All right, so he's gone. How much damage did Ultimate Gaelic do? So he did 850,000. The best did 1.1 million. All right, any case, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna keep playing around with this a bit happier now. So we'll see if I can finally work my way through it. You have a good one and I'll see you tomorrow.